Hi, I am Ankit and I am a graduate in Bachelor in Computer Application. Today, I am going to teach you what coding actually is, why coding is important and how coding evolves. Okay, to understand the basic concept of coding, let's see an example. We can communicate with each other through which means? through the means of language, either English, Hindi, or wha whatever it may be, we can communicate with each other through the means of language. Similarly, to communicate with the computers, there are languages which is called coding. So coding what is? Coding are the medium through which we can communicate with the computers. Okay. Let's see an another example. If your father asks you to bring a cup of coffee, here what? Your father is giving you the instruction to perform a specific task. So similarly, codings are the instructions that are given by the user to the computer to perform a specific task. Understand? And this is a basic definition and concept of coding. Later on, we will come to know more about coding. But for now, okay. Now, why coding is important? As a technology innovates itself day by day, and all the technologies that affects our life directly or indirectly is based on coding. And there are lots of field in coding from where we can get high paying jobs if we become a good coder okay because the market is expanding day by day but apart from all this we all have to learn coding because coding increases the thinking and logical ability of an individual it increases your thinking ability and also boost your efficiency in solving daily life problems that's why coding must be learned for all the students. Either they want to become a, a, a software developer or not, it does not matter. But they will learn from all the students. Okay. So the concept of I think is clear why coding is important. And now the question, how coding evolves? The coding evolves uh, in 1970 as C programming language. C programming language is the first programming language which is developed by Dennis M. Evici in AT&T Bell Labs. As the C programming language is first developed, that's why it is also called the mother of all other programming languages. But C programming language, the features of C programming language is very limited. That's why later C++ programming language is developed to overcome the limitations of C programming language. One thing keeps in your mind that the major difference between C programming language and C++ programming language is that the C programming language is a structured programming language where C++ is an object oriented programming language which means that the whole program is based on a reference called object. And in further classes, we will come to know more about what is structured language and what is object-oriented language. But there are also some limitations with the C++ programming language in their memory allocation and couples of other. And to overcome this problem, a new programming language, which is Java, is introduced by James Gosling. Okay. And you can say that the Java is the most uh, uh, used Java programming language across the globe in today time also. We can easily develop any uh, web application, uh, mobile application or software by using the language Java. It provides a wide range of features like inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, abstractions and many others. And further on, many other programming languages also developed like JavaScript, Python, 
uh, React and many others. And we will discuss about it in our further classes. But for now, simply understand that the Java, if you are good in Java, that you will found yourself comfortable in almost all the programming languages. Because somehow all programming languages are uh, directly or indirectly related to each other. Because the logics of all programming languages are same. But their syntax, their features will be different and their way of implementation will be different. But the logics will be same throughout all the programming languages. Okay. So now the concept how the programming language uh, evolved is clear. Okay. So in further classes, we will come to know about the properties, what is structured programming language, what is object oriented programming language, uh, different types of other programming language like JavaScript, Python, what are their use, in which field they can be implemented and many other topics we will be covering on in our further classes. Okay. Thanks for today.